there's some place in Australia, there's a club in Melbourne, and I've done it twice, 20 years apart. And both times, nobody had any idea who I was. Like, the, uh, the MC did. He's a comic. So he was like, he said a lot of really nice things. And he said, this guy, what a, what a treat. And he brings <laughs> me on in the crowds like, and they're just, and I could see them going like this to each other. <laughs> and I'm doing material that has been killing in large concert venues. And they just don't give a fuck. Like, then, then I found out what's actually, you know, means something to anybody. Mm. Um, so well, it's, it's different culturally, too. Like, the, they'll laugh at things over there that we don't laugh at. Australia? Do you find yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Uh, that Australia that is a fascinating place. They're, it is. They're wild people. They're like uh, they're very similar to Americans, but no, but not quite. at all. <laughs> That's what you get there, and you think it's America. <laughs> nope. And you, because you're in a tube, in an American <clears throat> tube, and you go over there, mm -hmm. and then you sleep in an American hotel, and everybody's white, and they don't sound British; they sound a little more like us. It feels American. Then you're walking down the street, and a fucking parrot flies by, <laughs> and lands in, on a telephone pole. And you're like, "What the fuck is a parrot doing?" And you realize you're surrounded by tropical creatures. Like, I was in Perth, which is completely different from Sydney and Melbourne. Like They call them those the, the eastern states. Perth is on the west coast of Australia. And it's in the Indian Ocean, south of India. It's a great, I mean, it's really like, Perth is like a city surrounded by just no people. And there's crazy creatures and weird plants. And, uh, and then these white people. And they're not, yeah, they're not. <laughs> they used to be prisoners. They well in Perth they were it's different. It's Is a mine it? yeah, they, they were it was founded as a as a uh, a commercial venture. An English captain went to England and said yeah, he got money and he got people he paid people to go and uh, and they're miners. It's just these huge giant holes in the ground. They, I think it's iron and there is these guys that live in Aus in Perth and they all have tons of money from this dirty work that they do. And they, they call them FIFOs, fly in, fly out. Because they fly into the mines and then they just live, it's just covered in shit and, you know, sleep in a bunk next to the hole for like a month. And then they give them like whatever, you know, thousand, hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> then they go back to Perth. It's a weird culture. Mm, there's a lot of those people in Canada. I guess like for the fishing, <clears throat> mm -hmm. right? No, miners. There's oh, yeah? A, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of miners. Mm -hmm. uh, oil people. A lot of people work the oil rigs. Uh huh. In Canada, yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of the people that they're a part of that strip mining, like mm -hmm. they all have like jacked up trucks and giant gold chains right. and tons of money. That's what it's like in Perth. Every truck is a off road, you know, <clears throat> jacked yeah. up with uh, with the snorkels. Yeah, well, you need that out there for the yes. dust. Yeah, you do. There's but then so the eastern states dusty. was founded by, um, they were penal colonies. Uh, but and I don't know much about it honestly. But Sid Sydney and Melbourne is my favorite place over there. Melbourne's great. It's such a great town. It's like San Francisco before it was ruined in mm -hmm. Australia. Yeah. Yeah. 